Hey guys, welcome back. So in this one, we are going to go ahead and fix a few things. So for example, whenever a user signs up, they are redirected here, but they are not given a message to show that their account was created successfully. So we're going to be using our regular old message components to show it here whenever a user finishes a, lo a registration process. Now for us to know that the user has finished registration inside the login, I'm going to be showing you how we can do it using callbacks. So we can come to the screen for the sign up, which is here. So what we call the register, which is here. We can also have another function that gets called when the user gets created. So this is where we can handle our, navig our navigation. So I'm going to come and cut out this here. So I'll copy it and then I'll remove it from here. We'll keep the use focus effect because it's going to be useful to clear out the errors still. Now we can handle this and when this happens, we want to redirect with the with the data that the user has been created with. So let's go to the action and also make it expect a callback function. So here we can have on success. Now that we have on success there, we can call it when a user finishes to create an account. So we could come here, right here, and call it so on success like this. We don't need to give it anything. It's not defined. Uh, oh, we, we, are, we are putting it in a wrong place. So let's make sure it's in the right place. It should be here. Save it. Now, when it gets sent, that means that when we redirect, we're going to be redirecting with data. So we can come to the login and check if we have that data. So for us to be able to now pick which data was sent in the navigate. So we get those from params. So here we can do const params. It's going to be equal to use route. I'm going to do a use effect. So we can do a console log and you guys can see exactly what we have. So we can do a comma here. So I'm bringing params. So we can say if we have params, they're going to be undefined by default. So if we have params, let's console log them. Okay. Make sure we are importing it from React. So we are importing it. So in the action, we can call the action and give it the data itself. So we can pass it here. Then when you call it like this, it's going to be coming in from here. And then we can send it. Now it has already been declared, so let's put something like response. Then we can send data and it's going to be equal to that response. Okay, so let's treat again. So let's say you put sssgmail.com ss, password, then go. So when we create, you see that we have this. Okay, meaning that we can come over here and check if we have the params data and then we can be able to show the message on the screen. So before we do that, I also want to prefer the username because the user already, we already have the user's username, so we can just prefer it for them. So right here where, where we are doing the same check, we're going to come here. So if we have these params, Actually, I'm going to be checking if I have params dot data. So I'm using this coercion operator to make sure that we don't do the data when params are defined. So if when we have that, we want to set form like that, so we can get everything on the form. Then we want to do the username. So username is going to be params dot data dot username the way it is here okay so save it click submit so you see that we set the username but it's not being updated actually right here so that means that's because we are not passing the value so let me remove this console log so we can pass the form so you see how we are passing the form down so we need to go to the login component and set the value to our 
input so here we can set the value so the value is going to be the value in the form so that's going to be form dot username like that or it's going to be empty by default or i'm going to do null also we need to destructure the format because we are not actually doing it so save it so to do it but now when we save you see that the username is preferred and the user can come in and put the password as password then they can click submit and they are logged in okay so that looks good to me now let's go ahead and show the message here so for us to be able to show the message i'm gonna have a prop called just signed up now we can come over here and also have that message so we can have just signed up if you have just signed up then we want to show a message that says welcome please log in then okay so this is gonna be success then we can do something we can say something like account created successfully then save it so we need to pass just signed up also in the screen so we can come to the screens then pass just signed up it's going to be a boolean so this is going to be there when we have params dot data so like we said params may be undefined so we want to send it like this also instead of us setting it here i'm going to have a local state that we're going to need to change when a user maybe click submit so i'm going to come here and also have a just signed up state set just signed up so it's going to be false by default so when we find that this is the case then we'll set it to true okay and when a user let's say a user clicks a submit button we want to turn it to false or when they st start to change here so we can say false when they maybe start to put a password and it should go away so let's retry it let's cross check one more time so in the login we are saying if just signed up then show it then be able to dismiss it so let's retry it uh, save and you see we get the message and when a user starts to put the password you see it goes away and yeah so this is gonna do it for the video if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in the next video bye